what is SBTC? SBTC is non-custodial, two-way pegged Bitcoin on the Stacks network. It was designed to be trust minimized and incentive compatible. It enables smart contracts to write to the Bitcoin chain. That's an incredibly, incredibly powerful concept. For the first time, we'll be able to use Bitcoin in generalizable smart contracts without any trusted third party controlling either the money or the smart contract side. SBTC is really a full Bitcoin integration uh, on, on the Stacks network, allowing fully expressive smart contracts to move Bitcoin for, for the first time in a trusted way. It was the missing piece for Stacks to function as the programmable layer two to Bitcoin. And in other words, it enables Bitcoin to become a fully programmable asset that can become the backbone of DeFi and Web3. And that's where I think Stacks and SBTC are a game changer for being able to use Bitcoin as a productive asset because it's one of the first examples of an open membership BTC derivative that's in the Bitcoin ecosystem. SBTC and the Stacks Nakamoto release will merge the principles of security and decentralization of Bitcoin's currency with the power of Ethereum's world computer. It'll allow you to peg in Bitcoin straight from the main Bitcoin chain and use that to interact with decentralized finance, digital assets, and more. This peg system works by using the entire network of stackers uh, in proof of transfer consensus, which Stacks runs on. And these stackers have capital locked in stacking. They are economically incentivized to secure this threshold signature wallet, which holds the Bitcoin that is pegged in. Why is SPTC important? SPTC is always backed one-to-one -one with real Bitcoin. There is no algorithms maintaining the peg. There is no minting from thin air. And you don't have to trust any individuals or federated groups for custody. We'll be able to open up a world of possibilities that simply didn't exist before. On Gamma, for the first time, artists will be able to be paid in Bitcoin they can use natively, and buyers will be able to list and sell NFTs directly in BTC. It starts to make this dream of an entire Bitcoin economy possible. It's really important for builders. Right now on, on the Stacks network, you have you know, read access to Bitcoin state, so you can, you can essentially read uh, Bitcoin state to build applications on that. But what would be much more powerful is to have, you know, right access to Bitcoin state as well, right? Or to essentially be able to move Bitcoin uh, in, in a programmatic way. SPTC will also enable powerful DeFi applications on Bitcoin. Without having to wrap your Bitcoin and expose yourself to custodial risk, you can build pure Bitcoin decentralized exchanges on which you could swap from Bitcoin directly and trustlessly into another tokenized asset on Bitcoin. So yeah, what are some of those use cases for, for builders? SBTC updates will, will come with an upgrade to the Stacks layer or a change to the Stacks layer forking rules, which you know means that Stacks security becomes equal to Bitcoin security after like a few hundred blocks. Um, and that means that Stacks really becomes like the data availability layer for Bitcoin, where Bitcoin becomes a sort of settlement or consensus layer, as it were. I think SBTC might be the best balance to date of many of these things that we need to get Bitcoin into productive use cases in applications, but also in a safe way where you can bridge in your BTC that you hold and bridge it back out in a reliable and safe way. Another interesting theoretical use case is payments. So along with SBTC, the Stacks base layer is getting an upgrade in terms of speed. So we can see up to five second block times, which means you can peg in your Bitcoin and transact as SPTC on the Stacks chain to take advantage of almost instantaneous, cheap, and scalable payments. Bitcoin will no longer just be something sitting in a wallet. It'll become a truly economically productive asset in a flourishing, extensive ecosystem of applications.